Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video you are going to be watching my makeup collection. Apologies for the lighting, I'm filming really, it's not that late at night but you know it's getting dark. So I've got blue light in, we're going to deal with it because I forgot to film an intro and an outro. So yes. Enjoy this makeup collection. It's very teeny tiny. My makeup collection isn't big at all, which you're about to find out. But yeah, if you do enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to me down below. Enjoy the video. So starting off with my four lip liners, none of which are actually sharp. So we have two from a mystery box that I got, a Paolo one and a Revolution one. Next are my Coco Collection liquid lipsticks. And this one is my literal fave, but it's run out, which is so, so sad. Next are four of my nude liquid lipsticks, all of which are from different brands, and to be honest, I don't really use any of them all that much. These two beauties, however, are new to my collection, and they're honestly gorgeous. Also, if you can't tell, I live for nude liquid lipsticks. Shock, another nude liquid lipstick, although this is the only lipstick I have in, like, a solid lipstick form. It also has this weird bit at the bottom. I don't know, like an extra lipstick, I guess. I also have two lip balms, one being my EOS, which I literally live for, and another one I got on holiday. Now we're moving on to eyebrows, and I'm currently using this kit from New Look, and it's actually quite nice. I picked up this weird eyebrow pen online, and I honestly just, I just don't get it. Like, I'm trying to swatch it for you now, and it just confuses me. I think it's supposed to create strokes, but it doesn't. Finally, I have the tattoo brow, but in the wrong shade, and it dyes my skin green, and I just don't get it. Next are mascaras. My benefit one is coming to an end of its life, but I love my Lash Sensational, and the primer is like a just-in-case. So I have two powders, one white and one like skin colour. The white one is a Beauty Big Bang powder, and the other is a Poundland one. So I have two concealers from collection, and I just don't use them that much. I also have my Barry M Chubby Stick and my Revolution concealers. Both I love. Moving on to bronzers and contour, I have my Hoola bronzer, although I've hit pan, which is so sad. Next, I have my Bare Minerals bronzer, but as you can see, it's rubbed away, so I have no idea what it's called. Oh my god, I literally use this day in, day out. It's my Barry M Chubby Stick for contour, and the colour is fab, it's beautiful, you need it, I love it. I also have this Chubby Cream Highlight from Collection. I also have my Merry Luminizer highlighter, but this is pretty much dead and i'm so sad about it this is so pretty it's from urban decay and it gives off the nicest glittery -ish, shiniest thing ever and it also comes with a brush i have two palettes the first being my soap highlighter palette and i love that shade next is my coco collection palette which is very loved although i don't wear blush like ever Next on my primers, I have the Revolution Spray and the Collection one, which is silicone based. I also have the Revolution Setting Spray. I also have a bunch of eyelash glues, but I personally prefer my eyelid ones to the duo. I also have a NYX glitter and the glue, and this is the glitter shade. I have three eyeliners, one being plain black and the other two being glittery, and here are the shades. I have three random eyeshadows, the L'Oreal one I bought and the other two came in a mystery box. I also have a palette from Wish, but I literally never ever use it like ever i also have three mua palettes which are beautiful and here are the palette names i also have this revlon one which i got for free but i don't really like it all that much and of course my naked three palette because who doesn't have at least one naked palette in their collection and finally my soap palette which is my go-to literally my absolute fave like i love it so much Moving on to foundation, I have my Dermacol, which I haven't used since my testing video. I also have two Rimmel ones and a L'Oreal one, which are actually quite nice. My literal go-to foundation is so good for oily skin. I have a pale shade for a video and two, which are my normal shade. So yeah, guys, that is the end of this video. If you did enjoy my makeup collection video, then do let me know. This is a kind of different style of video. Like, I never really do voiceover videos, so if you do like them, then let me know. Um... Also, hit that subscribe button because we are killing it at the moment. You guys are insane and um, it's just crazy. Things are crazy. A little bit crazy and I can't contemplate it right now, but yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, my head's been tilted the whole time and it actually really hurts. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you next time with another video. Bye, guys.